impactful, motivational, energetic, inspirational. Today is the start of awakening your champion, your inner champion. Are you having a great day or what? Yes or yes? Let's keep that momentum going. Decide one thing that you're going to start. Is it an idea? Is it a goal, a dream? Maybe it turns into a passion, whatever that might look like to you. What is it that you can stop? I mean, if you start something, you can stop something. Sure, why not? I mean, I know when I go clothes shopping, when I bring home a dress, I actually take out a dress out of my closet. Okay, no I don't, but I should. <laughs> The would like has a little bit more flexibility, some maneuvering. That's where a lot of negotiations happen in the would likes. You know, if he's not a doctor and he's something else, she's okay with that. It's not a deal breaker. She still likes the fact that he's tall, all right? She's still happy. We need to start taking risk, taking more risk. So today, ladies, I am here with you, commando, because I didn't put any makeup on. I call them champion leaders. Champion leaders that have the drive, the determination, the perseverance to look within themselves first. They're the ones that look at a challenge dead in the eye and give it a wink. Behind every successful woman is herself. Streamlining is a focused path that's created by a flow of movement where it's least resistant. It's actually a scientific study from dolphins. If you've ever watched dolphins swim, especially on top of water, how beautiful they are in and out. Well, have you ever seen them underwater where they actually go through quick pockets of air to, to, to increase their speed? And that's exactly what swimmers are doing now. And it's the same in business. In business, streamlining means getting to the point, the goal, uh, the, the end result as efficient, as fast, as quickly as possible through strategies, techniques, and tactics that work for you. I would like to share with you exactly what my parents said to me. Be proud of what you have accomplished. Now be proud of what you're about to accomplish. So start showing your muscles. Go ahead and be vulnerable. Be scared. Be afraid. Take risks by actually shifting your mindset so that you can change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. To actually recognize your dreams, your goals, your passions, so that you don't have to wait to see it in the near future, but you see it now to where you can say these three powerful words. Are you ready? Here we go. I got this. Congratulations for today. Wow, we just got started. And all of a sudden, something big just hit us. Have you ever had that feeling, those days, those experiences, where something just automatically hit you? Uh, on those unexpected turns, those, uh, those, those uh, ex ex challenges, situations? Yeah, we all have, haven't we? Yeah. Well, I grew up in the swimming world with the breakfast of champions with coffee and chlorine. While the girls were chasing boys at school, I was passing them in lane four. I swam so much that my skin would wrinkle, and at a very young age, I just thought that was an early sign of wisdom, so I showed them off. I had more lotion and hair products in my swim bag than there are at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> but yet, there were some unexpected turns, challenges, and situations I had to deal with too, like chlorinated green hair, that was an, a lovely sight. In school, I was bullied and teased and called the Jolly Green Giant. And being allergic to chlorine meant two, sometimes three showers a day. But that was my life. That was my sport since I was seven years old because I had one goal in mind, and that was to reach for the wall for more success. I bet 
many of you go to work with high expectations to receive more success too and be hit by a lot of challenges and, and turns and situations as well. Now, maybe not having green hair or being allergic to chlorine, but you've had to deal with constant interruptions, 24-7 connectivity, um, deadline restraints, um, uh, client and company demands and work overloads, and trying to balance work and family while living in the fast lane. And on top of that, being a woman, I've been nipped, tucked, plucked, pilled, lightened, whitened, sheared, waxed, and rewaxed. Ladies, is there anything else that can hold it together other than scotch tape and dippity do? <laughs> and I'm sure the young gens are thinking, dippity do, is that an iPhone app? <laughs> hmm. Well, today is the start of awakening your champion, your inner champion by actually shifting your mindset so that you can change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. To actually recognize your dreams, your goals, your passions, so that you don't have to wait to see it in the near future, but you see it now to where you can say the, these three powerful words, I got this. And to do this, I have three very simple, effective ways to help you become more successful. Not fearing it, but going for it. And as a swimmer, my language is like this. They are start, streamline, and swim. These are the three areas that I'd like to share with you. Because here's the truth. Behind every successful woman is herself. Does this sound good to you? Are you OK with this, yes or yes? Good, because unless you want to talk about sports or recipes, this is all I know to talk about. <laughs> okay, let's start with start. Start by understanding you are your biggest competitor. You compete with yourself. See, I'm a big believer that 90% of the time, women leaders actually underestimate their abilities, their talents, their roles to thrive for better results and instead take care of those that want to be successful. You help them become more successful to the point where you forget that, hey, you know, maybe I'm not ready for this job. Or you say, I don't deserve this position. Or I'm not experienced to take on this project. Or you're apologizing for anything and everything when it's not even their responsibility. And because why? Because we all want to win. Women leaders want to win. Everybody wants to win. Nobody wants to lose. Well, I think the only time we don't mind losing is our weight. <laughs> Trust me, I have tried to get back to my original weight, seven pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the other 10%? The other 10% where we need to start embracing the fact that we can't change what goes on around us until we change what goes on within us. How about the part where we can take what we know to a whole new level and, and, and look at the back of our pretty head and actually do say, hey, I do deserve that job. I deserve that position. I have enough experience to take on that project. And I am not going to apologize anymore, including with my purse sitting on the chair next to me. No more, right? This is what we have to do to start going to a whole new level, is to think this way. I call them champion leaders. Champion leaders that have the drive, the determination, the perseverance to look within themselves first, starting with themselves. They're the ones that look at a challenge dead in the eye and give it a wink. They're the ones that know, they ask themselves all the time, what does success look like to me? What does competition look like to me? without having to do what other people want you to do, living at other people's standards, but really taking care of yourself and saying, what does this mean to me? If you watch the Olympics, you'll notice that is a 50-meter pool. That's how, many, how much water is in there. And um, 
And my, my actual goal is to be as aerodynamic as possible where there's least resistance, staying in control to help increase my speed. And to do this, it's called streamlining. And so it's actually a scientific study from dolphins. If you've ever watched dolphins swim, especially on top of water, how beautiful they are in and out, well, have you ever seen them underwater where they actually go through quick, uh, pockets of air to, to, to increase their speed. And that's exactly what swimmers are doing now. If you watched the Olympics this past summer, those cameras were actually literally under the water more than they were on top of the water because more swimmers are spending time under the water as their fifth stroke off the block and kicking off the wall. This is called streamlining. And it's the same in business. In business, streamlining means getting to the point, the goal, uh, the, the end result as, as efficient, as fast, as, as, as quickly as possible through strategies, techniques, and, and tactics that work for you. And so streamlining helps that entire process to help you move to where you need to be, which happens to be your entire goal, your dreams, and your passions. And so to help you with that, there's actually, and especially when it comes to decision making, um, because a lot of times people think that, okay, well, we need instant gratification to help move things along. And we're a world of instant gratification right now, but yet there's no data that proves success from instant gratification. So streamlining, spending more time in the streamlining area is going to be very effective. It's like you've heard that saying, um, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's the same thing. A goal is great, but the process is king. This is where you want to spend time with. I was think I was, I was talking with Amy through the day here today, and she deals with a lot of contracts. See, contracts are the goal. The negotiating part is the streamlining area. And a lot of people in, in the contract world forget about that. They want to get to the goal, get to the goal, which is the contract, and say, aha, I got him. Instead of dealing with the negotiating side of things first and moving into the contract and getting it signed immediately. So streamlining is very effective in this area, especially when it comes to decision making. When it comes to decision making, the best way to look at streamlining is called macro and micro. Macro is where the goal is. That's the actual big picture, the, the big kahuna. This is where you want to get to eventually. It's like the uh, New Year's resolutions. <laughs> New Year's resolutions is the macro. The micro is where you take smaller steps, and with those steps, you get to celebrate along the way. It's where you get to identify and observe what is going on through the whole journey until you get to the macro. The problem with New Year's resolutions is nobody pays attention to the micro. They just expect their goal to come, come true in the, in the macro. So understanding that there's two ways of make, helping your decision making to get to your goal, your dream, your passion, by utilizing macro and micro terms, you'll see a difference in how you utilize your streamlining to reach your goal. Now, I know we, earlier we talked about working with men. How many of you all work with male counterparts? Majority of us, right? Right. And so um, here's the thing. Men are really good about this. They know what micro and macro and how it works. Take, for example, football. Football is a good example, as a matter of fact. Um, this is where the macro is the touchdown. The micro is every 10 yards or it's a sack. Something happens along the way, but the, you'll notice when they make a sack or they make 10 yards, you know, they're like, woohoo, they're up and celebrating. This is the correct way to make decisions because then you're inching your way to that macro. And as champion leaders, it's a matter of swimming, putting it into action and saying, I got this. And the best way to do that is to focus at the same time. Focusing is important, making sure that you don't let go of the basics and the, and the foundations of success, but focusing. Dimensional research does some remarkable stats on focusing and, and, and performance. As a matter of fact, there's a survey of 695 people that 80% 80% said that because of their performance issues, uh, it impacted their job. And 46% of those said that they actually, because of those hiccups, it deteriorated their job satisfaction scores. So you work so hard to start something, you put it in a streamlining mode, but then stop. Can't do that. 
You have to see it through. See, action equals results. No action equals results. It just depends on what kind of results you want. Working together as a team and supporting each other throughout is important. So remember when you just met your new friend? Well, they're your new accountability partner. And here's your challenge. I'd like for each and every one of you to actually connect with each other, hopefully face to face, and, and talk about what it was that you learned here at the Women's Leadership Forum. And to utilize those three key cores. Start, which is extremely important. And here's an even more important question. What is it that you can stop? I mean, if you start something, you can stop something. Sure, why not? I mean, I know when I go grocery or go uh, clothes shopping, when I bring home a dress, I actually take out a dress out of my closet. Okay, no, I don't. But I should. <laughs> you got to stop something, right? We try. <laughs> we try. So make sure that you actually get the, the, the mindset, hey, you can stop something too. You don't have to embrace everything, especially like emails and things like that. So get together, call each other, talk to each other, meet for lunch or something and talk about start and what it is that you streamlined and hopefully in 15 days you've been able to put something into action and you can share your experiences. Now, not every day is going to be a good day. We know that there's going to be unexpected turns, challenges, and situations. We know that. There's, but yet, you have the answers within you. They're there for you. I mean, for example, I know um, having green hair every time I get out of the pool has always been a challenge for me. But I did find the answer. I actually shampoo my hair every day with a can of tomato soup to strip the color out. And being allergic to chlorine continues. Yes, you hug me. I'm going to smell like chlorine. And um, so what the best thing that I did was I actually decided, you know what? I'm going to start wearing it like perfume. I actually call it chlorine number five. <laughs> and yes, would I love to go to the Olympics again? Do I have a shot at it? Well, you know what? I probably have a better chance than Ryan Lockie does than becoming the ambassador of Brazil. <laughs> So why should I give up my dream? You just never, never know. We all need to just keep learning and have each other's back. And being here is just a prime example of you being a champion leader. So start showing your muscles. Go ahead and be vulnerable. Be scared. Be afraid. Take risks because it's up to you to make it what you want because it comes down to that bottom line. So to help end this fabulous conference all together, let's show our muscles. I'd like everyone to stand up, and I want you to just go really loud, and then I want all together, we're going to say the three most powerful words, I got this, at the top of our lungs, rattle the walls together, all right? Everyone stand up. Here we go. Show your muscles, and on the count of three, we're going to say, I got this. Are you ready? Here we go. I got this. Congratulations for today. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.